Well, I think the first thing is you probably want to get that play. Yeah. Um, I think the, the gap in between is probably critical. You don't want it to be too soon, but you don't want it to be too long. So I think um, naturally playing on a Saturday, everyone's familiar with that. So I think it's good the game has been scheduled. I echo with what you said. I think it's going to be a really tough game today for us. Um, but like I said to uh, the players in the dressing room before the game, uh, uh, as, as hard as Monday was, it shows you how quickly football can be taken away from you and, and that them would be desperate to play today. So yeah. I think as us as a group now, we've just got to kind of um, not use it as motivation, but just kind of use that experience to, to realise that um, we, we, we all enjoy football and um, every week we need to go out there and give it our best because you don't know what's around the corner. Yeah, absolutely. And what sort of team news have you got for us today? Looking at the positive side, how are we going to beat City Ball? So, so um, I think we, we, we're mindful the game's going to be really, really um, tough and we're mindful that um, we've got a, a squad, so there's going to be changes made. Um, we don't think this, this weakens us at all. I think, um, like I said, we're really happy with the, the strength of the squad at the moment. It gives players that um, haven't been in the team an opportunity to showcase um, what they can bring to the team. And our expectation today is to put a, a really top performance in against a tough team and um, if we can um, do that then I think it'll be a good game for the fans again um, and uh, hopefully we'll come on the right side of it. Oh, well the very best of luck today, uh, play well. Thank you, cheers. Thanks. conversation we had at half time was about more about our technical performance. I thought some of the passes um, were quite great. I thought people's um, touch and control and, and, and sort of dominating um, getting into the, the pitch and, and being a little bit more patient. Um, on a whole I didn't feel that the teams that many problems when they did um, we didn't defend it well enough, and then the opportunities that we did have okay, we, we didn't want to finish off the back. It's easy to, I suppose, off the back of the loss, just be quite critical off the back of the win, be quite complimentary, but we've got to delve a little bit deeper if we're going to the collective unit. Um, but they're fully aware that that's not good enough, and the standards we asked for, and they set themselves, they, they haven't met today. Um, 
but we just have to sort of go goes by and, and try and improve off the back of that. But that's another competition we're out of, um, which we, we can go in with that intention. I don't think we do any competition, but we want to stay in competitions like this. Um, so we didn't take it lightly in terms of our approach or selection or anything like that. We made some changes today, um, naturally, because we need to use the depth of the squad and keep everybody fresh. Um, but look, we, we, we put out a strong team and, and we've come up short. Yeah, the positives. I mean, the first hour, I'd say we were a better team. They didn't really have any shots on target. Just seemed to go awry in the last sort of 10 minutes or so, really. Yeah, I think because things were going our way sort of tactically at times in terms of people in certain areas of the pitch that we wanted to get, get on the ball and get space. Um, I felt that we, we took advantage of that too much and was a little bit complacent in our play, um, which we, we don't like and we stress that point to the, to, to the players. You can't be like that. You can't just change the momentum of the game. Not when they scored the second goal, they actually showed more about us and probably created more chances in, in that sort of few minutes left, yeah. maybe 10 minutes left, than, than we did in the 80 minutes before. Yeah. Um, but you can't, something can't happen to you in life or football for, for it to be a reaction like that. You have to be intrinsically motivated to go out there and, and do that from the off. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, lot, lots of positives still, but it's, it's just, it wasn't acceptable um, today, I don't think. Like, you've got, you've got to be able to turn performances and possession and shape into wins. Um, otherwise, it just... Doesn't, doesn't mean enough and you don't get the rewards and you're not a successful team if you don't do that. Well, bad luck, Kevin. Uh, we'll turn it around next Sunday, I'm sure. And, um, yeah, bad luck, as I say. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for your support.